Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. The principle of hydraulics is really important in engineering. Today we're going to look at how hydraulics work, why they're so important and where they can be used in industry. So why are hydraulics so important? Well, hydraulics can be used to generate huge amounts of force from relatively smaller forces. I know what you're thinking. How can you generate more force than you actually put in? Well, to answer that, we're going to look at a simple hydraulic system. Let's look at a simple example of a hydraulic system. In this hydraulic system, there are two pistons. One over here, one over here. The lengths of these pistons are exactly the same. The green, dot, the green dots in the middle symbolize an incompressible liquid. In most cases, this liquid used is an oil. If this piston is moved in with a force of 1 Newton, the incompressible features of the oil will push this piston out with the same force of 1 Newton. This is basically the simple idea of hydraulics. We're now going to look at hydraulic multiplication. In this example, we have two pistons. One piston has a diameter of 2 inches and the other 6 inches. This example is a lot different to the example we saw before, where both pistons were exactly the same. Because the pistons are different in this example, we have to work out the area of both pistons and work out a ratio between them. This will tell us how much force is needed on each piston. This small piston has a diameter of 2 inches. The area, therefore, is pi. This big piston has a diameter of 6 inches. The area of this piston is therefore 9 pi. If we compare both these, this means that this has a ratio of 1 to 9. In layman's term, that actually means that if this piston is moved down with a force of 1 newton for 9 inches, this piston will move up by a force of 9 newtons for 1 inch. That is basically hydraulic multiplication. It's your mum.